Okay, so, all right, so the second kind of factoring we have to be able to do for dash 1 and dash 2 is shortcut factoring. It's also sometimes called factoring by inspection. We call it inspection because we don't have to do a lot of algebra here to prove it. So for dash 1, dash 2, uh, look at this, this is a trinomial here. And there's no way to rearrange this trinomial to get rid of it, so we need to factor it. And so when we do this, we can actually just do a shortcut here. We need two numbers that add together to give me 8, which is the B value, and two numbers that multiply together to give me 7, which is the C value. So the two numbers that multiply to give you, multiply to give you 7, add to give you 8. Well, there's only two numbers that do multiply to give you 7. 7 and 1, you always want to look for the multiplying factors first. 7 and 1 also add to give you 8. So your two factors in this case are B plus 7, B plus 1. Again, just like with the greatest common factoring, if you want to expand this to check, just do FOIL. So B times B is B squared. B times 1 is B. 7, 7B, and 7. Hey, look at that. It ends up exactly where we started from. So the two factors are indeed b plus 7, b plus 1. So those are your two factors. You don't have to expand, it's just a way to check. All right. So what about 1 here? If the a value isn't 1, we can't do inspection unless that a value is 1. So we look here, a is 2 in this case. And we can't, we have to do, uh, have to deal with this somehow. So we look here, is 2 common to all three terms? Why, yes, it sure is. So we can do common factoring. Divide 2 out of each of those. You get 2n squared divided by 2 is just n squared. 6n divided by 2 is 3n. And 108 divided by 2 is 54. Now, I can common, I can use inspection to factor my trinomial there. That 2 is just going to hang out. It's still part of this, but it's not factoring it. So what two numbers add to give me 3, multiply to give me negative 54. Well, factors of negative 54, I'll just write down here, are 1 and 54, and they can, either one can be negative. 2 and 27. 3 and 8, nope, not 8, sorry, 3 and 18. Uh, it's not a factor of 4, not a factor of 5, 6 and 9. And I look at 6 and 9 and I say, hey, I see a difference of 3 between those two numbers. So I need positive 3. So it's got to be positive 6, or positive 9, negative 6. Positive 9, negative 6, multiply to give you negative 54, add to give you 3. And there are your two factors. So that's the deal with shortcut factoring. It's very straightforward, and uh, you shouldn't have to show a lot of work to do it. It should just be pretty quick. So you can see it right away, write it down.